He went to New Zealand. He said he was going for a holiday and to do a course. He actually came back with a ring on his finger and told us all very quietly thereafter. So he was a married man when he returned. Actually, I tie that in very closely with another event on the 10th of the 4th, when Danny was born to Sandra. I had to redo something there and left the country ahead of time. Unless, unless you want to tie that in with me, because I went to Sweden the day after I found out. <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris Young had an exciting time in April because, in fact, realism development was just about starting up then, as far as Chris was concerned. He was into doing internal training. And something terribly, terribly exciting, Brandon, where is Brandon? Brandon joined the department on the 18th of the 4th, and was introduced fairly quickly to Tarmac. <laughs> tarmac development started, in fact, the same week that Brandon joined the company. Two weeks later, he was up and running, trying to get away, actually, but we tied him down. CPS began in, or at least it began coding through Crispin's kind work in, uh, in April. Remember that, Crispin? Ray began doing some development earlier. Yes. Yes. Terrific time. And on the 5th of the 4th, new procedures for internal fault reporting were put into force, believe it or not. Do you remember all that? Oh, I know you're getting riveted, aren't you? <laughs> Can't wait to get into the And finally, on the 26th, Mark and Eva introduced, I'm oh, sorry, Mark and Eva, the classroom minders rope was introduced for the first time, which you're all really pleased about. You can see that in your faces. Do you all remember who still is in charge of certain rooms here? So April was fairly, a fairly busy month. May is a quiet month, you're pleased to hear now, because um, in May we had about four changes. The first one, they had an impact to us, but the department moved from Peter Smith to Paul Jennings and Alan. Mark Parker, we had an extra head to report to at that time, and you all noticed the immediate impact it had on the department. Your courses uh, significantly changed at the time, um, didn't you? Yes, of course you did. And on the 15th of the 5th, we had the car treasure hunt with props of people, some more people. I can't remember who won that. Was it yes. well done, Steve? That was in Milton Keynes, and you were supposed to bring a camera and get some snapshots on the way. You had to keep within certain speed limits, I, I trust you did. Yes. The 16th to the 5th, we had another very exciting event, <laughs> Tim Chalker. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm, still here. I'm still here. You all remember what Tim actually looked like around the time he joined. I hope you will, anyway. He, he looked something like this. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Which one's Tim? <laughs> With the glasses. Yeah. That's it. I was hoping you'd spot that. Actually. He looks very tall, slender. Look at that young expression. Oh, the hair is still off his forehead. He's still holding it off his forehead somehow. Somehow he maintains his smile throughout all the changes this year. One other change at that time we had something rather special. We had the 1960 upgrade. Mike Reeves gets it on the cheap. <laughs> Mike Reeves uses his contacts and his influence, and we get it for nothing, I think, Mike, wasn't it? Pretty big. We won't get that again. June. Now, this is a very special month for Crispin Mills. He doesn't realize it yet, but it was a very special month. He tangled with me for the first time. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Crispin opened the debate on four standards. <laughs> and it's gone on and it's been very successful since. Chris decided he couldn't take it and he flew off to America. He didn't catch anything, he came back clean. <laughs> That's what you think. Oh, you haven't seen the actual test results, have we? There was a pool party at the Parks Hotel yeah. on the 17th. Very exciting time for all that. I might remind you as to some of the interesting things that happened around there. We had... We had the applications... Uh, Woman of the Year, or the applications... Uh, queen, or women call yes, And we had the M8000... Uh, what are we call you? Miss 8000, that's right. There we are. Yeah, and all the glory. Yeah. Are we, good enough, are we? Yeah. we should have seen them later, of course, because something very exciting happened at that time. And they lost all their clothes later on. <laughs> but they didn't stay in the pool for long because they found a couple of sharks in there. <laughs> they were also yeah, without, yeah. Their, yeah. They were also like without their clothes. Yeah, yeah. Lots of interesting things happened. I think uh, you'll recall another incident from that evening. Uh, we found Crispin was discussing Tony again that evening. 
I don't know what he was trying to relate, but whatever it was, Joe was very impressed. I think that's the truth. She was very impressed, wasn't she? She was impressed with Tony. <laughs> Another interesting point to bring out that evening was that Tony went through at least four changes of clothing and it ended up having to be toweled down by Eva in the men's toilet, sadly, which is a little bit embarrassing for most of the men who have to use the cubicles at certain stages. Ray, I think, went in. Actually, people didn't realize Ray had changed into his cheaper clothes. They thought what he was wearing was what he was going to get wet in, so they should have been anyway. <laughs> so he went home in his rags that night. And, um, of course, the skinny dipping was quite interesting. I missed out, though. I don't seem to miss out on that. I kept my clothes on. People are very pleased about that, aren't you? <laughs> what else happened in that particular month? Well, we had one or two other interesting things. We actually had the first tarmac course. Angela kicked off that, followed by another first. Brandon kicked off the other module, the first tarmac course. We had our first tape head cleaning course. <laughs> Do you remember this? I think it's only actually one, one and a half times, but it's done quite well. We introduced our new course appraisal form, thanks to Eva and Sandra, which actually went company-wide at the end. And the grads completed their formal training. And finally, our second quarterly figures, I'm afraid, were only 90% done. Yes, all that time development took two people out of it. So that's a bit disappointing. I'm sorry to finish on a bad note at the end of the six months. But let's have a look at July. Things picked up. Denise went to Germany. Everyone felt. Was well, she coming back? Well, she came back two days later and she had a jolly good time from all the counts. Didn't you? Yes, of course I did. Mark, his floor was promoted to senior lecturer. Is he here? He's not here. And Chris Young got promoted at the same time. Ooh, right. <laughs> I can't say what I'm going to say. Well, I can't say what I'm going to say. <laughs> Ellen introduced us for the first time to the PLO, which is the Big Liberation Organization, which she found out about in one of her circle meetings. She also introduced us to the organization called Idiot, which is the intrepid, daring, incomparable, orgasmic team that is partly part of this uh, circle meeting. And finally, she gave us a good new definition for customers called if I just put it out, it was deliverers of gloom and pairs of our salaries, which you take the initial spells out, dog poos. <laughs> <laughs> Who can forget the dog poos after that? <laughs> you remember all this? It don't really happen, I'm not making this up. I think you are. <laughs> In August, we had the great debates. We had the future of education meetings held within all the teams. <coughs> Three of those at least, I think, at the time. And then we had something that really impacted on everyone in the department. You couldn't fail to notice this. We had the office reorganization. <laughs> we had the Lee Derby plan to beat all plans. I think you'll remember that. We had a wonderful scheme. I, I can put up typical examples. It's been drunk, thank you very much. <laughs> First of all, Lee put out plans like these, I think you remember these at the time, one for filing cabinets, one for desks, one for bookshelves. We all had to interpret them. Worked out in the end. And he even got round to using ROS. We had a file to help us actually locate one desk in one old position and where it was going to be signed another position. So we all spent a day reading it and none of them actually using it. And it worked out very well. And he justified it all to me completely. What else happened? Well, we had Rev4 of Realism when electronic mail came out at that time. Chris was very pleased to tell us all about that. And we had a special technical tip 12, which I'll come back to later, which uh, I'd like to introduce the best memos of 1988. <laughs> Finally, if I can just bring out the uh, one or two points about the cabinet reshuffle that Lee described it as. The best prize for the design of the room plan was given to Chris. Well done, Chris. Uh, we're still waiting the partitions. We'll get them eventually, I'm sure of that. Um, and we had plenty.